What's up guys, so welcome to the channel, or welcome back for those of you returning. Today's video is going to be on Armiton's newest frame, the Tadpole, and I've made a couple videos on the frame so far, and one of them is how I install the iFlight 16x16 stack into the Tadpole, and I just wanted to touch back on that because basically the way I do it in that video, I make it a little bit more difficult than it has to be, and I've seen some better ways to install the stack, and basically that's what I've done, so I just wanted to show you guys how I reinstalled this stack and why I think this is a better way to do it. So the way I did it basically was remove the soft mounts to lower the bottom of the stack and I used M2 nuts on the ESC versus the soft mounts. So having the stack installed like that, basically the back of the stack was touching the top plate and I wasn't able to get a nut on the back of the stack so I only had nuts on the front of the stack. So that was one thing I didn't like about it and I also ended up breaking the pins off the ESC and I believe that was from removing the soft mounts because I felt like in a crash if the flight controller now needed to move it would be able to move but the ESC now couldn't move you know with the flight controller so therefore breaking the pins basically. And so I wanted to put the soft mounts back into the frame that way if the whole stack needs to move it can all move together and hopefully I won't break any more pins and so that's exactly what I did was I put the soft mounts back on the ESC and I used the smaller of the two kinds and as you can see it's just barely clearing the bottom plate but there is clearance and it's not touching anything and then what I did as you can see that was I flipped the bolts upside down so they're sticking out the bottom and then what I did was used an aluminum M2 nut and I can link those in the description but these are the M2 aluminum nuts with nylock and this is what I would recommend using because the nylock is gonna hold it in place and you're not gonna have to worry about them falling off and I would definitely use the aluminum over the nylon standoffs because basically I always worried that if I use the nylon ones that they would break in a crash so I would definitely recommend using these aluminum ones with nylock and using the length of bolt you need is a 20 millimeter bolt if you can find something just a hair longer they were almost 20 mil was almost just a hair too short but I was able to get them to grab and reach but I'm just smushing down the soft mounts on top just a little bit so you could almost get a with like a 22 millimeter bolt or maybe probably whatever the stack comes with is, would probably work so and so basically with this build the props that I have been using are these HQ 65 millimeter two blade props and basically I mentioned in that other video that the iFlight motors I got if it'll focus they didn't come with holes to bolt the props on and so therefore I have to use only props that friction fit onto the 1.5 millimeter shaft and these were one of the only props that basically fit the 1.5 millimeter shaft is the standard 65 millimeter bi props. And so I was trying to find some other three blade props that will friction fit the 1.5 millimeter shaft because I was having some issues getting this thing to fly good. It just had this really bad oscillation on throttle bursts. And so basically I found three different props that will fit the 1.5 millimeter shaft without bolts. And those are, these are the Gemfan 2040s. So these are a little bit shorter. 65 millimeter is about two and a half inches. And these are just a two inch prop. Another one I found is, these are the Emax Avon props. So these are a three blade. These are a 2.5 by 1.9 pitch. So these are a little bit less aggressive pitch, but they're a little bit longer and they have some weird teeth looking things on them. And then the other ones I found are the HQ 65 millimeter three blades. And the reason I thought these would fit is because I've tried the 2.5 inch HQs and those didn't fit. You needed to have bolts in the props to fit those. It, it was just kind of loose. It, you know, you had to have bolts for those props to work but I figured well these are 65 millimeter they look pretty close so I figured they'd probably have the same hub as the bi props and they do they friction fit on so basically that's what we're going to do today is we're going to go out and test some of these different props so I think we're going to head down to Minnesota Square Park one of the last places I flew this thing and we're going to test some stuff out down there it's pretty cold out but uh, it's not windy and whatnot so I think it'll be all right so we're going to get ready and we're going to head down to the park. Well, there's a lot of snow on the ground and it's snowing out a little bit, but I think we're gonna be okay because we're just gonna stay in this vicinity and we're all conformal coated, but that's never really a guarantee, but we're gonna cross our fingers today for sake of this video so we can test our props. So let's get set up. Yeah, just know, I'ma get it poppin', I'ma do my thing, I'ma blow the fuck up. Yeah, just know, I'ma cash out, stack hella M's in my account. Yeah, just know. Anyway, 
These are the HQ 65 millimeter. We're gonna start out with these because these are the ones I'm most curious about and I have a feeling I'm gonna like these the best. So in the case that I crash and break something, I don't wanna not get to try these. So I'm gonna run these first. So that being said, let's go ahead and get a pack in and see how these things fly. I'm sure it's gonna feel great taking these props off with freezing cold fingers. Don't know if I'm gonna get through three packs out here. I'll try though. Pretty smooth. Batteries are like sagging balls on me though. It's not going the snow. I'm liking these props a lot. They're really smooth, but they got plenty of power. Okay, my battery is toast. I'm gonna bring it in. Well, that flew really, really good, actually. Jeez. <sighs> my, so cold. That flew super good. I'm actually really happy with how those flew, so I definitely can see myself ordering some more in the future. Anyway, but we're gonna since it's so cold, I'm just gonna hurry up and run through and test all three of these different props and see which ones I like the best. So I'm gonna give my hands a minute to warm up and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and try the Emacs props next. All right, so now we're gonna test the Emacs Avon props. So let's give these a try. Recovered. All right, here we go. Emacs Avons. Ooh. These definitely have more power. Whoa, jeez. Yeah, these definitely have more power than the HQs. There's no doubt about that. Wonder if it's the battery or something. Because these are newer, I know for a fact the battery I just flew is a newer one, and I'm not sure whether the one I flew prior to that with the 65 millimeter, if that was a newer old one. But I think it also might be flying a little better too because I have the ESC soft mounted now, and I have nuts on all four bolts where before I only had nuts on the front of the stack because of the way the top plate is slanted. Oops, I think we're still good. I think uh, I'm gonna have to give the HQs another shot with one of these newer batteries and see how it does. Trying to get all fancy there.
That was sketch. Pretty sick though, if you see that shit. This is such a fun little build, these tadpoles. I never thought I would get too into them, but they are just a ton of fun. I think the HQs definitely flew a little bit better. These have a little bit more oscillation to them, but they both fly pretty good, but it's safe to say that these have a little bit more power. But it's hard to say if that's just the battery or if that's the props. Well, that was fun, so I'm gonna warm up one more time. We'll try the Emacs, or uh, these, we'll try the Genfen props next, and then I think I'm gonna try one more pack on the HQs because I feel like those need another, another shot. All right, now we got the HQ 6040, or uh, 2040s on here. So these are a little bit shorter, but a little bit more aggressive pitch than the Emax props. I'm not sure what the pitch of the HQ props is, but um, I don't really have high hopes for these, but we're gonna try them anyway, because it's one of the only few props I can find that fit the 1.5 millimeter shaft. Anyway, let's go ahead and try these. Okay, these are the Gemfan 2040s. Yeah, definitely not quite as much power as the Emax props, but that's kind of to be expected. Batteries are just sagging balls, but it is like freezing out. Oh, I just love this spot. Shit. Oh, shit, we're right side up. Well, so far so good. I definitely prefer the stack mounted this way. Now I don't have to worry about breaking the pins off. Try to hit this gap one more time. Oh, that was sick. So these aren't really bad either. I kind of like them all. Probably gonna have to... do some further testing to see which ones I like the most. These feel really in control. We're probably getting a little bit more RPM because they're shorter. All right, those actually flew pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with all three of them. I like all three of them way better than the bi-prop. Oh, it's so cold. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend any of these props, really, if you're having trouble finding a prop. Looks like my battery is about to die on my camera right now. So, so that's gonna wrap up this portion of the video. I'm gonna keep flying. I'm gonna get another flight in with the HQs and I'll end the video with that. So thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. And by the way,
My channel just reached 590 subscribers, so we are almost to 600, so I'm super stoked about that. So I just wanted to say thank you to like Armiton, BMC3D, and everybody that supported me and subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. So just wanted to say thanks, and it's quite the uh, milestone making it to 600 subscribers. I'm super stoked. I uh, didn't think I would ever get to 600, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.